This is Cole Quinot with the Ford Story, and we're here at the Los Angeles Auto Show a couple of hours before the reveal of the 2011 North American Ford Fiesta. Now, this is a media-only event, but we're bringing you here so you can see all the action. The Ford Fiesta is the star here, but a second set of stars are the Fiesta agents. Here they are getting interviewed, and they're getting ready for the action, too. They're playing a part in today's uh, reveal of the 2011 North American Ford Fiesta. President of the Americas, Mark Fields. New Fiesta is already on sale, as you know, in Europe and in Asia. And in its first year there, we've sold more than 500,000 units. It actually is Ford of Europe's best-selling car, and it's Asia's fastest-selling vehicle for us. And right here in the U.S., more than 80,000 people have raised their hands and have told us that they want one. And that's months ahead of Fiesta's on sale date next summer. And today, it's really my pleasure to show you the new Fiesta for North America. And to help us to do that, I want to invite a few of the agents from our Fiesta movement to lend a hand. Yeah. Now, as you might recall, we put a hundred of these socially connected trendsetters behind the wheel of European spec Fiestas and kept them busy for a full six months, completing missions and introducing the car to, uh, to new people that they met uh, uh, during their adventures. Uh, we really want to grow the buzz even larger. So, everybody ready? Yeah. All right, ready? One. Here with Paul Eisenstein from the DetroitBureau.com. Paul wanted to ask you what's your reaction to the uh, 2011 Ford Fiesta? It looks like a solid car. Uh, what's amazing is the difference between this and the traditional small car that you've seen out of Detroit over the years. I remember some of the early Fiestas, and those were what you'd call econo boxes. They were sold primarily because they were small and fuel efficient, and there wasn't much else. I think this is a very different type of vehicle. Do you have any thoughts or comments on the way that Ford's marketing this vehicle using all social media instead of traditional marketing tools? The social media move is pretty important. What Detroit in general has to do is get out of its traditional base. Those people hear the message. They know what's going on. The challenge is to try to reach the people who are pretty well locked into import competitors who dominate this segment. Can they get there? It's going to take talking in a very different way. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm with Carl Brar, Editor-in-Chief at Edmunds.com. Carl, I wanted to ask you uh, what you thought of the Ford Fiesta as it was revealed here at the Los Angeles Auto Show. I think a lot of us knew what the car looked like from the Fiesta movement exposure that the car already had and the European exposure. So uh, it's really just had some minor tweaks to it in terms of styling. But I think uh, the more exciting element is that there's such a uh, advanced interest in the car already and to see it in the flesh, to know that it's coming soon, to see the actual final, final versions that are going to be for sale here in the U.S., it just helps it feel closer that this car is going to be on the street soon. And uh, I think the success it's had in Europe is, is very likely to be followed in the U.S. Uh, because of a lot of the factors that have made it a success in Europe. Thanks for joining us. Come back to thefordstory.com for more information on the 2011 North America Ford Fiesta.